Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll see managing secrets. So uh, to encrypt any sensitive variables, we can use the Ansible Vault. And uh, to run the playbook, we can use those encrypted variable files. So Ansible may need to access uh, some of the sensitive data such as uh, passwords or API keys in order to configure the managed host. So normally this information will be stored, you know, in a plain text in the inventory variables or in Ansible files. So in that case, what happened if anyone have access to that Ansible files, they can easily, you know, access the sensitive data. So to avoid that, how we can use the Ansible vault to encrypt the variable files so we'll use some of the following commands how we can create the encrypted file so we'll use ansible vault create to create the encrypted file and i'll be using secret.yaml and here you need to set up the new password okay now you can put the sensitive data inside this secret.yaml file i'm just uh, for example using this okay so next uh, to uh, view this Encrypted file, we need to use Ansible Vault View Secret.yaml and you need the password that you have set up while creating the secret.yaml and then you can view the data and uh, to edit this file, you can put Ansible Vault edit command and you need to enter the password and here you can edit the file and save it okay next we'll see how we can encrypt the existing file so let me take any one of the file okay now if i want to encrypt uh, the testwar.yaml i can use sensible vault encrypt and here you can set up the password okay now we have encrypted and uh, to decrypt we can use ansible vault decrypt command and you can enter the password okay now the decrypt was successful and uh, to change the vault key that we have set up already you can use this ansible vault rekey and the file and here you need to enter the password Okay, so you need to provide the uh, old password and the new vault password. We can also store that uh, vault password in some file instead of entering every time. 
so let me create a file called vault pass and i'm just uh, keeping that file with the password okay now when i create a new secret file ansible vault create i can specify vault password file so this is the password file where i have the vault password and i can create new file okay now to view this file you can similarly mention vault password file and the password file where we have saved okay so here we don't need to enter the password and uh, if you wanted to uh, you know when you're running any playbook and uh, in that playbook if you are using this encrypted uh, file then you can you know uh, also mention something like this the uh, vault password file location so that uh, the playbook will run without uh, asking for the password otherwise uh, the playbook will not run because there is a encrypted file and uh, you can also uh, supply on the command line like uh, ask pass so that uh, it will ask the vault password which you can enter while the playbook running so we have seen how to encrypt the existing file for example uh, test var okay we can see the content inside now let's again encrypt ansible vault encrypt okay now if we try to cut out that file we can't uh, you know view the file just uh, by running this cat command so we need to use the ansible vault view command and uh, to decrypt as we we have seen ansible vault decrypt command so here what we can do we can use uh, additional parameter output test one decrypted.yaml okay now we can see that uh, there is a decrypted file which is there is a separate file okay so the output uh, you know option like it will save the decrypted file under a different name okay let's see an example to use the um, encrypted file in the playbook so here we have the playbook so here we are using the user list as the var file okay i'm going to encrypt this file okay now if i try to run this playbook then see what happens okay it says attempting to decrypt but no vault secret found so either we need to specify the vault password or mention the vault password file to run this playbook otherwise uh, the playbook will not be 
running okay let's try ask vault pass okay now it will give the prompt here we can enter the password and execute the playbook here uh, we can also use vault id right prompt then it will ask for the vault password and run the playbook and the other option would be specify the vault password file so that uh, it will not you know ask for entering the password it will just execute the playbook so uh, starting ansible 2.4 we can use multiple ansible vault you know passwords uh, with ansible playbook so for that uh, you can specify uh, something like this vault password file or here you can specify vault id one at a prompt and then vault id two at prompt so uh, you can use this method to use the multiple ansible vault password files Okay, so that's it in this video and I'll see in the next. Thank you.